today we are going to West Mineral in Kansas, Missouri, or Kansas. We're going to have to start over. Today we're headed to West Mineral. What's in West Mineral, Vinny? Big Brutus. Big Brutus. What's Big Brutus? Well, I guess we'll go find out. It's in West Mineral, Kansas, which is right outside of McCoon, Kansas. So if you Google map the address for Brutus, or Big Brutus, it'll take you to McCoon, Kansas, but it's actually located in West Mineral. Here we go. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. So we had to stop and get us a drink first, but um, Big Brutus will be a little over an hour drive from where we live. Um, other than that, here we go. West Mineral is a small town of 154 people, according to the 2020 Census Bureau. It is located in Cherokee County in Kansas and is a popular destination for adventurous travelers looking for historic finds. This is where you will find the notorious attraction in Southeast Kansas, the Big Brutus, or also known as Bucyrus Erie. They are also home of Orville Grove, a Major League Baseball player who pitched for Chicago White Sox. The Bucyrus Erie Model 1850B is an electric shovel. This is the second largest of its type in operation from 1960 to 1970s. The first, or the largest, is the Captain. It weighs over 28 million pounds, which is triple the size of the Big Brutus, which is 160 feet tall, weighing over 9.3 million pounds, and the fastest speed that it can go is 0.22 miles per hour. You would have found the Captain located in Kentucky, but it was scrapped and dismantled in 1992 after an explosive fire took place in 1991. Let's get back to Big Brutus. The initial machine was designed to strip the shallow coal seams for easier access so the smaller equipment can get to the coals. It took over 150 railroad cars to get the pieces to the site and over a year to build. The total cost was $6.5 million. Big Brutus operated until 1974 when it became uneconomical to mine in this specific location. It was considered too expensive to move, so it was left in its place. In 2010, a dentist from Lowell, Kansas, lost his life after attempting to base jump off of the 160-foot structure. And lastly, in 2018, Big Brutus was placed in the National Register of Historic Places. to the Big Brutus Museum and Park. Sixty-three to seventy-four. Oh. All right. So when you go into the main area to pay, they give you these pieces of paper. Vinny, what'd you just say? The bucket on Big Brutus. Wow. Now they give you all this piece of paper that tells you a little bit about the Big Brutus. And there's 23 different adventures you can do and information. So are you ready? Let's do, Let's this. do this. So you gotta go through the other door. It takes you out this way. Big 
better. Fireball. This is the first bell used in West, West Mineral in 1900s. That's kind of cool. The safe. <laughs> Benny and his safes. All right, that is kind of cool. Are you sure? Yep, it is a safe. That's some pretty big doors to drill through if you wanted to break into that. Pretty thirty. So this isn't the one that was on the Big Brutus? Okay, so this is a 40 cubic yard dipper. It's a bucket. It holds 40 cubic yards of dirt and rock. This is not the one used by Big Brutus. Big Brutus held how much? Uh, 90 cubic yards. Wow. I don't even understand that. A dinky mine. prospect drill. They use this first to drill down to make sure it's worth even going in this spot. They have a flat tire. They ain't going anywhere soon. Huh. That's Big. Oh, there's your zigzag. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You got jokes today. <laughs> I jigged all. What was? I'm trying the, to figure out where. What was the real name that you're calling it? A not sawzall. a sawzall, not a jigsaw. Whatever. I needed one yesterday when I was doing my gardening. This is some pretty big buckets. Ha ha ha. Oh look, it's an old miner's. Miner cart. Yeah. It's got actual stuff in there. Or? Yeah. Or it could not be, I don't know. <laughs> Like a little bit of, you can start some fire with that, right? It says keep off. Looks like that would be a hot seat, anyways. With today's sun, right on that seat. See how big that bucket is. That's a shovel.
take him 55 seconds to get one scoop. And then he could dump it 150 feet away from the main area they were working on. Crazy. So that was number one on the list. That thing is like, I'm going to get in front of it and look inside of it. Hey, how cool would it be if we got our picture while we're inside of it? Well, we're not actually in it. We'd be like in front of it. So, found number five. Okay, it says enter here. Double along the pit at one fifth of a mile an hour. Each pad weighs 2,000 pounds. Each pad? Yes. Yeah, so oh, this is number two. Okay, this is it. Zero point two two miles per hour was the quickest this thing yeah, will see, go. Two hundred and fifty six pads on the crawler. Okay. Each pad weighs two thousand pounds, so each one of these. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's massive. So this is one pad. Yep. Put your hand up next to it so you can see like <laughs> Wow. That's some um, pretty intense pulley system. Okay, so it looks like a great big huge tanker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oversized tank. Maybe. This is me standing inside this thing. <laughs> Oh, I just touched it. Did they get oil on me? No. <laughs> oh, they have QR codes and they have embedded videos working on it. So. It's slippery. Number six is right here. Nah, we're on three. No, just, oh, there's three. Okay, read me what three is. Steering arms. Oh. These arms were used to turn the crawler. The two front and two rear arms operate independent of each other. So basically like um, a drive shaft on your car. Yeah. I mean, that's a really big one. And then Where's number four? Number four is the jacks. Jacks. They're four 42-inch hydraulic. We can't find number four, which are the jacks. We've looked everywhere in this thing, and there's not a number four anywhere. And there's four jacks that they have in this thing. Hmm, because there's five, there's six. There's five right there. What would a jack look like? Those are 42 inches in diameter. 42 inches? Is, like, what is this thing then? There's only two of those, there's not four. I wonder if they're up inside the thing. That could be. Like, hmm. And what did the jacks do? Uh, they were used to keep the machine level on the uneven floor. Oh, so like when you're in a camper, yeah, you release them and they go down and level it. And you said you saw five? No, I only no. They said there's four. No, you said you saw number five. Oh, five's up here. Yeah. 
Okay, we are on the first level, looking out. Okay, number five. Five, right there. There's five. So what is a ground? This is the control panel used by the groundsman. His job was to move the shovel whenever the operator signaled him to do so. He also had to ensure that the pit floor was clean and level before moving the machine. Okay, so he dilly dawdled with these little pulleys and these thingies. And See what happens when you climb up the stairs? That's a jack. Okay. Never would have thought that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so then the other one's over there. And then there's one there. I guess it has to be pretty big in order to keep this thing level. Oh, wow. It's like a secret hiding spot. Oh, there's stairs, but don't go anywhere. Oh, um, well, what does this do? It's like, um, I have no idea what that does. I guess it's like a holding compartment for these little things. Okay, so I bet it held these fuses. See, it says unit Westinghouse unit frame resistors right here. Well, that's kind of cool. Okay, so we've done five. Six. Six. And what is six? What is this thing? Okay, so it's a big, okay, like a big, huge, yeah. Well, look at there. Well, it says, here, I'm getting tired. I'm so tired. Ninety of these things? Let's go. You gonna do the stairs first for me? Oh wow! Like these steps are not <laughs> not people not people friendly at all. And I just walked in a spider web. How did I walk in a spider web when you were going in front of me? <sighs> wow. Look how dirty it is. Could you imagine this machine working while you're standing here and this is going in circles? How many of these are there? Nine, 90 of them? Oh wow. Pretty high up. Not sure if you can appreciate this. This is over 160 feet total this thing is. Obviously we're not 160 feet yet. <sighs> That's so cool. So pretty. So pretty. So these are rolling. While you're standing here, these are rolling. Wow. Revolving frame. You ready? Mm-hmm. That's cool. Oh my gosh. Another weird... Oh, straight up. Like, these staircases is not... Like... Like... Here's your hand, and the other one is literally right in front of it. Like, they're not steps that you go into. You're steps that you go up. inside this thing. More fuses. And there's another room in here. <gasps> wow. It says keep out. There's a little area that goes back that way. It's so scary. A fan. More fuses. There's another door. I wonder what, like, what goes in there? Look how big, the, and it goes back that way. That's big. Okay, what this room is, is, Mr. 
certificate. Oh, there it is in action. That's cool. You know, this is the second largest. The first one is Captain. This one weighs 9.3 million pounds. The Captain, I have it in my paper in the car. Like, they even come with chairs for you to sit in. <laughs> you think those are original? <laughs> All this history. Here we are again, going up. These stairs are less to be desired. Number eight. Are we on eight? Okay. Eight was responsible for what? The motor and generator platforms. These platforms were where the two 3,500 horsepower AC motors and 13 DC generators were located. Wow, look at that big hook. You know what? It, if you're really mean to me, I'm gonna tie you up to that hook and just leave you hanging there. You think I'll do it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Okay, read me nine. Okay. to operate the 3,500 horsepower motors. Wow. And then drill bits. Really big drill bits. What do you think this thing is for when he wants to do some artwork and work and has a stencil? Probably. <laughs> well, I want to get the tools. It actually feels pretty breezy up here. This thing is like massively huge. There's doors up there. I wonder where they go. Doors that lead to nowhere. There's more tools on that side. That's cool. Look at this. The oil alert took three men? No, the oiler was one of three men. Oh. Oh, the oiler. That's his name. Mm -hmm. And they had three men that did this. This thing is so big. Oh, wow. So here's 11. 11. Okay. So it was a small hoist that lifted the oil drums for the oiler. <gasps> Look how sad. There's 11. Oh, wow. Can you stand on that? I'm not doing that. I'm sure it's safe. But... <laughs> uh, it does say caution. I'm going to hold on just in case. Oh, my gosh. I feel sick up here. Like, seriously? <laughs> I'm not for sure, but I like the feeling of this. I feel sick. I'm afraid. I'm going to come back in. <laughs> that was a little extreme for me, by the way. What, going out there? Yeah. You go out there, okay. please, so I can get you on video. Uh, come on. So that when you die, I have proof why. You have to hold Oh, now look down. No, yes. I didn't want to. No, it feels like it's going to give. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't both be on at the same time. <laughs> you made a face coming in. <laughs> there's three of them. Yeah, there's three gearboxes. Okay, and what do they do? They were used to rotate the house. This thing? Yeah, I guess that's where the bucket was. There's even pulley systems up there. Huh. That's cool. Okay. Break room. It's time for lunch, Vinny.
Oh, they cheated. Back then in the day, they didn't have a fan. Wait, what number was that? 12? That was 12. This is 13. 13. Okay, what is 13? The break room. It's the only area what? That was air conditioning. No, -uh. even yeah. in the day? Men of the Brutus from 1963 to 1974. Could you imagine this is your break room? Okay, so this is the strip pit, and it's the land across from the pit where the last places that Big Brutus worked. And so you can find that out here. This is the last area done by Big Brutus. All of that. That's cool. Hey, Vinny, do you want to work the operation? No, I'm good. I want to work the operation. There you are. Okay, here we go. We're going to do work the Big Brutus. They'd be terrified. <laughs> stop! Where's the horn? Where's the horn? Oh. oh, there's a stop here, a stop here, a stop here. Oh, these are resets. Resets. No, I'm good. Number 14 was on here. What did it say? That was the operator's cam. You don't want to play ever. Yeah, there's 15. Where? Uh, oh, 15. Okay. 15 is the boom. Say it again. You gotta do it again. It wasn't recording. The boom is 150 feet long. It is 160 feet from the ground to the point she's up. So that from the top down to the bottom is 160 feet. And then number 16 is the crowd gears. The crowd assembly is the mechanism used to operate the bucket. The dipper stick is 88 feet long and could be extended to dump the load 150 feet away and up to 101 feet high. Now your job is the dipper stick. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go back over to the 17. Elevator. The elevator. Okay, <laughs> so the elevator. That was the it, only way inside when the Brutus was in operation. To get to the top. It only goes up. And I guess it's for maintenance. I'm not quite for sure why you'd want to go up. I think it stops here. No, it does stop here. I don't think it... Do, do you think it goes down? Oh, wait a minute. <gasps> it does go down. Vinny, there's a hole. Okay, yeah. It does go down. So, get in there, Vinny. No only way to get up here when this was working. That makes sense? Okay, I'm gonna kind of stop it is. It. Yeah, Vinny's afraid to get into the elevator. I'm already recording. You got it? Yeah, I think I am. Yeah, watch me fall. Okay, now he's afraid. Because <laughs> I'm afraid he's going to fall. <laughs> Hold on, I'm in this, room, this elevator. And then there's the electronic. So it goes down and up, and that is it. Down and up. Very simple. And then the main hoist. They read about the main hoist. The main hoist is operated by eight 500 horsepower electric motors. There's 800 feet of wire cable on each side. The cable weighs approximately 25 pounds a foot. Yeah, but Vinny, try it again. We already decided that we don't think it weighs 25 pounds. It was a lot heavier. A lot heavier, he says. I don't think I'd want to be hit in the head with one of these things when it broke. And I don't think duct tape is going to fix it. The elevator is pretty cool. So this is where it stops and it goes down. That's cool.
cool. Number 19 is the ballast. What? Ballast. Is it this way? Nineteen. When they went downstairs. Oh. Oh, it's huge inside of there. Hello. <laughs> so these are what? These are the oh, nineteen twenty-one is up here too. Where's twenty? So what? Is, what is their job? Nineteen. Below the floor was where the ballast tanks were located. There was 1.7 million pounds of ballast weight below where we're standing. This was to counter the weight of the full bucket when it was digging. Oh, so this kind of kept it all level mm -hmm. along with those things downstairs. Where's 21? There's not, or where's 20? I know I see 21. I just don't see 20. Oh, 20 is right there. Just a minute. 20. What is it? The hand tools displayed on the green boards were used to in the deep shaft mines in this area. The coal mining industry in this area was initially established by the deep shaft miners who migrated here around the turn of the century. Thank you there. Deep shaft tools. Mm -hmm. Now what's 21? That's that overhead crane that you were looking at. What is, oh, that thing that I was picking on you about? Okay, what's its job? It was used to lift heavy motors, generators, into the house. The large doors opened up to provide access to the interior. That's why you need the doors. Oh my gosh, it's coming together now. Okay, so this crane would go out. Where, did, where is it at? There it is. That's huge. And it would pick up heavy things and bring them back in here. All right, just a minute. I'm confused. Okay, is that whole thing a door? What doors are they talking about? Because surely that thing's got to fit out and bring in big tools. Um, what doors are they talking about? We don't actually see a big, big door. We just see these little window boards up here. But we don't actually see a big door to like bring in big machinery pieces. Hmm. Pretty cool. So we gotta go exit and then these stairs are no fun. Vinny, be careful. We are still way up in here. All right, 23. Did we hit 22? 22 is on the other side. That's those main boards. Oh, okay. So we already did 22 ahead of time. This is a transformer room. Where the power was brought into the shovel. It was distributed from here to various points throughout the machine. The incoming cable carried 7,200 volts of three-phase alternating current. Oh, I'll give you a shock. And then watch your head. All right, now what's the number next? 22. Well, we already did 22. We already went in there. That's it. We've just established the whole Brutus. Oh my gosh. Look at that oil all over that thing. Smells like oil in there. Smell mm -hmm. that. Oh, I Someone put a sticker on the wall. I'm not going in there. I've been in enough of these scary rooms. Yeah, this is the electrical room. Oh my gosh. Like, I almost hit my head. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so technically you can go through and get to the other room that we were just at because I was looking in there and here. Could you imagine? I don't think I would want to take the shortcut. Wonder why this is open. What can you do in there? Oh, it actually opens to the outside.
Thankfully, I can't fall but so far. much crawl space there is it. I told you me and ladders don't mix. We're still pretty high up. Look down. I don't you're not making this any better. <laughs> we are way up here. <laughs> like it's kind of nerve wracking to be this high up. This doesn't really feel too stable either. It's kinda ready? This is nine million pounds and you're shaking. <laughs> oh surely it won't break by my weightage. Did it scare you, Vinny? <laughs> I don't know. This one's pretty. See, it's pretty sturdy. More stairs. Could you imagine trying to get off this in a hurry? I think I would. They need more tape because I definitely would be slipping. small one compared to we were only almost up the top we didn't get to go all the way to the tippy top because there's where I was standing up there and Vinny did too he, uh, there, yeah there's the operator room I want to go all the way to the very top, but the elevator's not working today. The elevator's not working. That word nope. is called Bucerus. Bucerus Erie Company. You know how come I know? I Google translation. How do you say this word? And then there's the water. Sitting in these things would be so hot. Verbiage. <laughs> Turn down the verbiage and try again. What did you not like? <laughs> insert, insert your own explicit words if you wish. But <laughs> he said he liked it, but not the ladders because they were crazy. <laughs> but traffic only. But I know for a fact I watched a video of someone driving down here and parking his truck in front of the boom thingy. So our next road trip is where, Vinny? gemstones. It's a mining area that they left for us to come down yeah. and dig up and find what? Like stuff? <laughs> Gems and stones? Are there any diamonds? Yeah. No. Huh. Might have, might have to do that. This is a pen chart. You pick up a pen and you put where you're from. Wow, people from Russia and Alaska, Hawaii, Oahu. 
Mexico. Hmm. Look at there. All these people. Come from Bahamas even. Cool. That's pretty cool. And most of them are from our region. I don't know. I think there's already a pen where we're from. Where are you from originally? Delaware. Delaware? Well, get a get a pen and put it in Delaware. Then he's gonna mark his spot. You have marked your spot. This is the museum. That's cool. All of this tells about the uh, shovel that was okay. built by a man locally. Yeah. Uh, it was printed in the Illustrated Mac Mechanics in 1930. And uh, three companies came out to buy it. And he wouldn't sell it. He decided here he offered him the last biggest amount. He still wouldn't take it. They offered him a job. He walked to West Con. He still wouldn't do that. So yeah. He it wasn't patent. So they came and drew it up. And they got his uh, dipstick would go up and down about five to six feet. Right. And they got that idea. And in 1939, they came out with their first automatic dipper that went up and down. Huh. Thank you. That's cool. Some pretty cool history. This is their time sheets. Okay. So this gentleman worked 110 hours at $69. Per yard is eight dollars. His total amount, uh, total credits was eighty-one. After he did the pit expense and the percentages at the very, very, very bottom, he made fifty dollars and ninety cents. That's crazy. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.